I blame uh, Israel for the la- uh, for the current uh, war because we should never forget the context in which the Hamas attack happened, and that is the siege on Gaza that began in 2006. So, uh, in terms of what caused this or any previous cycle of violence, one has to go to the source of the violence, and the source of the violence is occupation and colonization, and that is what really it's about even today with all the tragic things that are happening right now. I think that, first of all, we are within an event or a structural event that is called the ongoing Nakba, as the Palestinians call it in Arabic, al Nakba al-Mustamirra. Namely, the Nakba has not ended in 1948 and it continues to this very day. In many ways, the present sold the present genocidal policy towards Gaza are part of the ongoing Nakba. However, it is quite unprecedented, I agree. Uh, the numbers of refugees already resembles the number of refugees during 1948, uh, and uh, the genocidal uh, intentions are even worse than the one that guided the Israelis in 1948. Holocaust uh, memory has been manipulated and abused in Israel since 1948 in order to justify uh, inhuman policies towards the Palestinians. Uh, uh, the message there is very is, is very simple. What you do, you kind of Nazify the Palestinians. Namely, you, you describe them as the successors of, of the Nazis. You attribute to them the same uh, uh, genocidal um, motivation uh, as w- were behind the Nazi ideology and action. And by that, you can justify anything you do to them. This is, to my mind, an abuse of the Holocaust memory. And I'm talking as someone who lost much of his family in the Holocaust. And it is always done without any care about what happened in the Holocaust or without any understanding of the universal lessons one should have learned from the Holocaust. It is all done in order to immunize Israel from inhuman policies it carried out in the past and unfortunately probably is preparing for us uh, in, in the future.